So if you've reached the point where uh, you're asked to create an index page in your website and you have already created one, then this is uh, how you can work around that. I'm going to create a new tab and go to my GitHub account. In my GitHub account, I should already have an index page created for another assignment. I'm going to click on the root folder of my repository and uh, see that indeed I have an index page that was created shortly ago. Maybe yours was created days ago, weeks ago, we don't know. We don't want you to lose that information though. Um, and you don't want to lose it either, probably. So let's rename the file. I'm going to click on the index page itself, the one that's in question here. If you don't have an index page, then this video is not for you. But if you do, and maybe it says something like, this is my first page uh, on GitHub, something like that, you know, because we created the website and maybe asked you to create an index page. We want to keep that and just keep it to the side, though. So the way to do that, once I have the file open, and you have the file open, I'm going to click on the Edit This File button. That's the pencil on the right side. And clicking on it, notice how it tells me that this is my website slash, and then right in the root of everything is a file called index.html. Right side, uh, right next to where it says index, I'm going to type in some characters. Make sure they're valid characters. If, if you can type in exactly what I typed, that'd be fine. I'm going to do an underscore, no spaces ever on file names, and I'll type in BAK just to say this is a backup. You could have also used a number two or something similar. Anything but spaces, no spaces. Once that's done, I'm going to scroll down and say commit changes. Once the changes are committed, if I travel back to my website by clicking on the repository name, I'll see that I have all the files I already had, plus I have an index uh, underscore BIK, so the backup. I could have put in the comment that I, re besides renaming it, that this is going to be a backup, but it doesn't really matter as long as you have now created or rather renamed your file from index to something else. In this case, index underscore BIK. At this point, you should go uh, to you back to your assignment and uh, continue to uh, work on creating a new file called index.html. It'll be something like this, but just follow the process in the video that asks you to come and check this one out.